Hey guys, what's up? It's Aubrey here with another video. Alright, so this video is about best friends, and you're probably thinking, how do I know about best friends? But guys, I did have best friends once, I was in a total outcast. Um, like I've explained so many times before. Um, so I will go through all my best friends and how I lost them, and then give you guys tips on how to make a best friend or a friend or whatever <laughs> so my first best friend was probably my cousin you're probably thinking that's so cliche your cousin but it was true we were born exactly eight months apart to the day uh she was born i was born in january she was born in september same day same year um so we were probably best friends. We were both girly. We both loved to play the same thing, like house, doll, Barbie dolls, whatever. Um, and yeah, and we were best friends from the time we were born, probably to the time I got maybe to ninth or tenth grade. And we kind of started to crumble. We just got in stupid, stupid petty fights. It went from everywhere where I was talking with her friends behind her back because. So can you, like, these AOL messaging was sure popular when I was a kid and or middle school or whatever and Space my, my space was so popular and Space I was friends with some of her friends Please and we just started having me on your back which wasn't the best choice. Don't do that because that could really crumble our relationship. Then we made up. And then we fought over a MySpace song that we our friendship crumbled after that, then it wasn't really strong, and then we just eventually stopped talking. Some of our fights went as far as I didn't want to go to somebody's graduation party. Um, so yeah, so I would say if you are friends with a cousin, don't let the relationship crumble because I think they're one of the strongest friendships you can have. My second best friend was a girl that actually lived right up the street from me all my life. Um, her grandmother owned the daycare that I went to, and one day we just happened to meet her while I was getting out of daycare, and she was too. And then we learned that she lived right up the street from me, so we became like best friends. We were best friends from the time I was three, probably month time. I got to ninth grade because we always went to the same school and stuff, and then when I got to ninth grade, I wasn't really sure if she was going to come to my high school or the other high school that she could potentially go to. And, you know, we didn't really talk for a few years or like a year or so. And then the summer before she started high school, we just started talking. I mean, we're more of um, acquaintances than friends at that point. Um, and, you know, I said some really rude things about her. And I, it, it wasn't intended to be that way. I was just losing a friend. Um, that she was starting to make friends with and it wasn't the right way to handle it. I don't know. And we didn't talk for a few years and I know your friends on Facebook and everything, but that's not really like how close you are. And I was planning this coming summer, 2017 summer, I was going to reconnect with her, but it seems like I've waited too long because she, uh, she, um, passed away this past October, and I feel bad about it now because now I can't reconnect with her this summer. Um, and then this is where I started making friends within the school I had. See, I was randomly brought into the popular group, you know, the pop, what would you call the popular group? The girls would come up to me, they said hi. This whole group, there was no like, oh, best friend or friend or whatever. You were basically in this group of best friends. And it was like this tight knit group. Like, if you were new past kindergarten, you were special. But in kindergarten, that's when I started um, in a popular group. And I didn't realize it was a popular group. You know, I kind of figured it out after a while. But when I started, it was really, and then I had some other friends out of the group, which wasn't, like, cool. That's how I eventually got out of the group. I got insulted by, I guess, the leader of the group, which I don't remember. That's what my other friend said, but I don't believe it because the remark that she made 
was very offensive, and she had a brother um, that usually that fits into that category of the remark, which I don't think she would say that word. And I'm not going to say it because I have a brother like that, and I'm not going to say it because it's very offensive to some people. But, um, that's just what I want to, like, really, um, say about it. And then, I had a best friend from probably about kindergarten to probably about fifth grade. I mean, we stayed friends after fifth grade, but it was hard because... We were always in the same class until about 5th grade, and I remember crying like a baby the night before we went into 5th grade because I was so sad because she was going to be in a different class from that I was, and I wasn't used to it. But we had a best friendship, I and mean, we still hung out in 5th grade because she was kind of upset about it too, so every day after 5th grade, every Friday, either my dad, it was either my dad, my dad would pick us up and either bring us to the arcade or to the beach or... If we had a lot of homework to do, he would bring me over to my house, but that was only occasionally. When we went to the arcade, it was fun, and we would play games together, and then when we went to the beach, we would sometimes go in the winter, and there was these huge ice strips, and my dad would have us kick them. Um, they were like thin, thin ice, so like you could kick them, and then just break apart. And same with, um, and in the summer, when it got closer to the summer, we'd go down and sit on the docks, which is really fun because you are allowed to sit on the docks. Um, and there were no boats there, and that's where I learned the, the term fuggly. Yeah, I know some of you probably learned it from Mean Girls, but I actually learned it from my friend, who was the same age as I was. Actually, a few months younger than I was, but she was like, she was maturing a little faster. Plus, she had older sisters, so... I had older brothers, but, you know, older brothers really don't go into fads as they do when they're younger. Um, so yeah, and then, you know, I didn't really have any best friends after that because I eventually lost them all. And then probably to about 8th grade, I tried to make friends with this girl, and I was really determined for her to be my best friend, and I tried way too hard to become friends. We eventually did, and as I said, I didn't have a best friend for a while before that, so she was like my only friend, and I was in a fight with my cousin at this point too, so it's not like I could talk to my cousin, um, and then, so I would kind of like call her all, like, all the time, not like all the time, but like, but like, I would, I would want something to do, so I said, oh, I'll call you later, nothing like, obsessive but like I, I would call her like gave them up. yeah the world had and um we had a good friendship until about 11th Just grade so it lasted 8th to about 11th halfway through 11th she said I don't want to be friends with you anymore she made it a lie but then I found that UFO that you saw when the lightning hit me sorry about that but then I found out that somebody spread a rumor that I was being her stalker I was like okay whatever and then we didn't really talk for a while, I and mean, we had to talk sometimes because, of course, we were in the same class. And, um, after that, it just crumbled, and then we didn't talk for a few years. Then, about two or three years ago, she sent me a friend invite back on Facebook. So I was like, you know what, I'm ready to let this pass. Except it really didn't talk. Um, and then, this past summer, she sent me a message saying, look, I'm really sorry for what I did to you in high school. A couple of my friends were making fun of you, and I really didn't know what to do. I should have defended you instead of turning on you, blah, 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 blah. And she's like, I um, understand you don't want to talk to me. And I sent her, I'm like, wow, thank you. Um, I don't mind talking. It's fine. And I never got a message back. So I guess she really doesn't want to talk about it as much as I would. Anyways, um, so I lost that friend, and now I don't really have any best friends. My best friends, if I was kind of pick a best friend, I'd probably pick my little cousin. Even though, yeah, that's a cousin kind of thing. And he's a boy, so it's not like we can talk about, like, stuff like I would with, like, a girl best friend. Um, and yeah, so I gotta find a girl best friend that I can talk about girl stuff for. Even if it's a cousin, you know? Um, so I hope you guys like this video. Oh, tips for making best friends, right? Tip number one. Just be yourself. You don't want to pretend to be somebody. I've done that so many times and I regret it. But just be yourself. And get to know the person. 
Don't try to be somebody you're not. Because it could end up so bad. Tip number two. If you're in an abusive friend relationship, get out of it as soon as possible. If you're having trouble getting out of it because the friend is super clingy or super mean, talk to an adult. Whether it's your mom, your dad, your brothers, if they're like an adult, a teacher, or even their parents or whoever takes care of them, talk to an adult. Get out of it or fix it or whatever. Um. And also, and there's like clubs or something like that. Um, you get it into gear, you know, join clubs. Like, if you're interested in drama, join the drama club or theater. If you're interested in sports, whatever sport that is, join it. That's where you probably make most of your friends because, you know, they're interested in the same thing you are. But be careful because some people could really potentially you know they could really potentially um be one of your best friends for life all right so i hope you guys like this video if you did give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs See, down i don't really care comment down below your best friend, not her name or, or his name or anything, just, um, if you have a best friend, say, I have a best friend below in the comments, alright? Hope this video helps you guys too, alright? Peace out, bye guys.